Nikola Jokic had his first triple-double of the season with 22 points, 12 rebounds and 11 assists as four players scored 20 points or more for the Nuggets, who were coming off a 106-98 loss at Sacramento on Saturday. Klay Thompson scored 19 on his bobblehead night, while Draymond Green added a season-high 23 points and 10 assists in the defending NBA champion's fifth straight victory on a night when Kevin Durant sat out his third consecutive game with a strained right calf. In his 12th 30-point game of the season, Curry hit a long three-pointer with 56.1 seconds left in the third, and the Warriors led 93-81 going into the final quarter after the Nuggets had fought back to tie it midway through the period. The two-time MVP has scored 29 or more points in seven straight games. In four games before Monday, he was averaging 36 points, six rebounds, four, eight assists, and 1.3 steals in 31.8 minutes since returning from an 11-game absence with a sprained right ankle. The Western Conference Player of the Week for last week, Curry strained his left knee in the first half headed to the locker room to have it taped and then returned. Golden State's David West contributed 10 points, scoring in double figures for a third straight game to go with six rebounds and four assists, while becoming the 127th player in NBA history to play in 1,000 regular season games. Thompson made his initial four shots, and Green scored eight quick points, connecting on his first three field goal attempts. He dished out five assists as Golden State raced ahead 27-20, a far cry from the Warriors' previous performance in a 96-81 loss to Denver at Oracle Arena on December. 23. The Warriors shot 3 for 27 in that game from three point range, but topped that with four threes in the first quarter Monday and finished 13 for 30 from deep. Thompson's three pointer with 4 10 left in the third made it 78 71 after Denver had tied the game 89 all at the 6 57 mark of the period. The Nuggets held the Warriors to a season-low scoring performance here last time that snapped their 11-game winning streak. Golden State has won 7 of 8 since Denver got 22 points from Gary Harris and 21 apiece from Jamal Murray and Trey Lyles. Kerr said Durant didn't feel quite right after going through shoot-around earlier in the day. We're all on the same page that until he feels right, he's not going to play, Kerr said. Hopefully the next couple of days he'll clear that hurdle and be ready to go. Green was fined $25,000 by the NBA for publicly criticizing the league's officiating in comments after Golden State's 121-105 win against the Clippers on Saturday. Curry has people helping him explore options to buy into the NFL's Carolina Panthers. Jerry Richardson announced he plans to sell the franchise while he is under investigation for sexual and racial misconduct in the workplace. It's a pretty interesting opportunity, Curry said after Monday's shoot-around. I've had conversations with plenty of people about the right way to go about it and kind of the different approaches I could personally take. Obviously I have a day job, but I've got people that are plugged in and trying to see how to make that happen. I've had nothing really to say about it besides that I'm very interested and very willing to do what it takes to make that happen. Nuggets, Denver limited its turnovers to 11 after committing a season-high 26 at Sacramento two days earlier, that led to 40 Kings points. Denver is 3-11 on the road vs. Western Conference teams. Warriors, Andre Iguodala hit his first three-pointer in nine games he's played since December. 18, snapping and 0 for 12 funk from deep when he made one in the first.
Golden State rookie Jordan Bell took a hard fall in the second quarter and moved gingerly afterward. Newly crowned U.S. figure skating national champion and Olympian Nathan Chan attended the game, watched Curry's warm-up, and was set to meet him afterward. Warriors host the Los Angeles Clippers on Wednesday seeking a 13th consecutive victory in the rivalry.